I'm Sarah Benjamin Nealon. I am an assistant professor in the Department of Community and Family Medicine in the medical school here at Duke, and I'm a member in the Duke Global Health Institute. One of our areas of research is looking at childcare um, and whether or not children who spend time in childcare are heavier than children who don't. And we've found that um, children who are in certain types of childcare are heavier than children who are cared for at home. Um, or cared for by a nanny, for example, and that's regardless of income, regardless of socioeconomic status, regardless of a host of other um, feeding, physical activity, sleep factors. We uh, think that uh, it might be these less formal types of childcare that are contributing to obesity. So uh, the neighbor down the street who cares for children or a grandma, for example, who cares for children. Children in those environments tend to be heavier. The number one vegetable consumed by two, three, four, and five-year-olds is french fries. And so if we're going to do anything to change that, I, I feel like we have to engage, um, children have to engage all of their senses. So they need to smell it, taste it, touch it, um, and then they're more likely to eat it on a regular basis. Right now I have um, an intervention in Durham County focusing on child care and this intervention is um, a really fun creative project that I love working on and we are um, building collaborations between a few community partners in Durham like SEEDS, a community gardening program, the Durham County Health Department and an agency called Child Care Services Association. So those three groups come together and we um, build gardens at childcare facilities. So uh, it doesn't matter how much space they have, doesn't matter um, their resources, as long as they've got somewhere, we can build uh, container gardens, we can build raised plots, we can do topsy-turvy, upside-down tomato gardens. Um, we'll work with whatever space we have. And we link each childcare center with a teenage gardener from Seeds. So the teenage gardener actually comes out to each child care center once a month at least and monitors the progress on the garden. But it's the children and the teachers at the child care center who actually take care of the garden. And there's a curriculum that goes along with it um, where the children harvest the fruits and vegetables. Every month they do taste testings, they read stories, things like that. So we really engage children with the entire growing process. They plant from seeds, they water, they, they care for the plants, um, and then they harvest the fruit or vegetable. And we're definitely seeing in our, in our child care garden studies that children are more likely to eat what they grow. And when we look at global rates of obesity, we see, uh, we see high rates in um, Iran, in Saudi Arabia, in um, obviously in developed countries like the UK, Australia, but we also see relatively high rates of obesity in South Africa, for example. I actually um, chose Duke primarily for the Duke Global Health Institute. I wanted to, um, I wanted to go into um, more global health research and I felt like this was a very supportive environment to do so. So I'm actually hoping to um, do some global gardening work.